Deep Dive with David Stendhal, where we trade without ego, no emotion, no greed, no opinion. Before we begin tonight's video blog, please read over our trading disclaimer, and remember to trade smart and accept the reality that trading futures is risky. This presentation does not provide buy-sell recommendations, and our information is strictly provided for educational purposes only. As always, trade at your own risk and analysis. Hey, it's David Stein with tonight's Deep Dive. It is November 28th, 2018. I'm going to take a look at sugar today. The ETF is Cane, C-A-N-E. The reason I'm looking at this is that I had a couple of questions today on my Twitter feed where people were asking about some targets when I posted some information earlier on the day. So I thought I would uh, kind of address what's going on with sugar here. So uh, we'll just begin with the fact that we get a mixed bag here when it comes to sugar, when it comes to the trends, and we have kind of a... Uh, a sideways action here when it comes to the technical rating. We got the uh, the seasonals are pointed to the downside, but the key here is anytime you have a market that has kind of a uh, a sideways action on this technical rating, it's not bullish, it's not bearish, it's indecisive. What you probably want to do is get an idea as to what kind of risk is associated with that market on the upside or the downside, and this is kind of what's prompting this particular uh, uh, deep dive. So what we have here is sugar, and what we have is a uh, the close from yesterday, and we have two targets to the upside, high resistance and X extreme resistance to the market. These are just simply targets uh, based upon some of our analyses for the individual markets, and this is updated every night. So this is yesterday's close, and this is today's action. So we get up to 1269. So if you're gonna trade a particular market, and you're new to that market and you're saying, well, what kind of a risk could I have? What is normal risk and what is extreme risk? And so uh, from that perspective, we have uh, two different targets to the upside and then we have two different targets to the downside. With uh, this action today, here's sugar and ended up at 1282. Uh, it was a big day and it, it came right up to the uh, the 200 day moving average. Now, our analyses doesn't use any of the moving averages. This is uh, just kind of our in-house analyses for the volatility of the market on a regular basis. Uh, but it is kind of curious that uh, we exceeded this extreme level. And so the reason I show this information is that if you're new to a market and you're asking yourselves, can I handle trading that particular market on a day-to-day -day basis? This is daily volatility. What could one expect from a particular market? So with that action, we had 1252 for normal and we had 1269 for extreme target on the day. And the point is, if you can't handle the extreme nature, let alone just normal tendencies to the market, then it's not a market that you want to be trading in the in the first place. So with uh, with our information, we are long the market, although uh, we have a bit of a hedge. We have a long, a long, and a long. So we have three long positions. We have a short and a short. Uh, so we have three long, two short, net net or long one particular position. So we've got a little bit of hedging that's going on. And a lot of this is coming from the fact that we're basically in a zone where the market is finding some support to the market. Uh, right through here and right through here, if you go all the way across, uh, that's where the support is coming from. It's a little unusual that it would have stopped right there and had this big bounce, uh, but the, the reality is is that uh, we're in that particular zone. We had a big day uh, with it bouncing to the upside, and if you're long or short a particular market and you're trying to say to yourselves, what could I expect, this is the reason that I show the information here when it comes to uh, traditional technical upside and extreme upside or downside type information and the way you get to this information we put all the markets on a particular page you come to signals daily support resistance levels and then you'll have the ability to click on any of these tabs by uh, sector and be able to pull up the the information for all of these different types of markets and we've got sugar all the way to the bottom here it's the last market so I just want you to really kind of take a look at that and feel comfortable with the fact that the market in itself uh, can have major moves and if ever you're new to a market and you're trying to say yourselves on a day-to-day 
day-to-day -day basis. This is simply daily information. If the market were to make a particular move, whether it's a normal, which would be the, uh, the yellow diamond, or some type of an extreme move here, as we had with sugar, the answer would be to look at this particular chart and ask yourself, could I handle that type of a move? Hopefully you can, uh, but at least when it comes to the volatility of the individual markets and targets based on that volatility, I always like to look at that kind of information uh, for an individual that might be new to a particular market and say, can you handle it? So the upshot of this is that I happen to mention the fact that during the course of the day, we had surpassed our, our extreme resistance, if you will, to the market. And I had a couple of questions that popped up on Twitter. So I thought I would address it in tonight's deep dive. So anytime you're looking for a market and you're looking for that kind of information, uh, just simply uh, come to the page. You can find that information uh, updated on a daily basis and certainly put you in perspective. And when it comes to our trading, the fact is, is that we are at that support level that I was referring to. We're now at the resistance level. I'll just pull this up again of the the 50 and the 200 day moving average, the gray line being the 200, the yellow being the 50, and we're right in between those bigger levels. So that being the case, it's not a bad time to be hedged the market just to really get a feel for where things might be, uh, might be headed. But at least uh, from our perspective, we've got some nice open position profits and we're looking for the market to uh, really give us a clear indication as to what it really wants to do and that will dictate whether or not we hold on to the longs or hold on to the shorts. But that's the uh, the perfection of what I think is systematic trading at its best, where we're always looking for different types of conditions. We've got different time frames, different styles of trade. And when it comes down to it, we're, we're hedged. We have a bias on the, uh, the long side, but we still have a, a hedged position, if you will. And we have these targets that will at least give us an indication as to where the, where the market theoretically could go on an extreme basis and with today's action we certainly are able to trigger that and if you're new to any type of a market always look at that information and make sure that you feel comfortable uh, with the potential for that type of a move if the answer is no I don't think I can handle it then obviously you shouldn't be trading that market so with that we will take a look at another market tomorrow thanks very much bye bye